If Ronald Reagan says your heroism is more impressive than an action movie, you know you're a badass. More than 30 wounds from dozens of bullets, grenade shrapnel, and a bayonet couldn't stop Roy Benavidez from rescuing his comrades. Born in Texas, Benavidez was orphaned at a young age, and later forced to drop out of middle school to help support his family. By age 19, Benavidez had had enough and joined the U.S. Army. Before long, he was in Vietnam. During Benavidez's first tour of duty, he stepped on a landmine and doctors were convinced he would never walk again. I was declared never to walk again. That night, I would slip out of bed and crawl to a wall using my elbows and my chin. And I backed myself up against the wall. I'd stand there and move my toes right and left. More than a year later, Benavides was able to walk out of the hospital. But his work in Vietnam wasn't done. On the morning of May 2, 1968, in response to desperate cries over the radio, Benavides hopped on an evacuation helicopter and rushed to the aid of 12 men who were surrounded by a thousand enemy soldiers. After leaping out of the helicopter, Benavides was shot in the face and leg, but he kept running. He dragged the surviving soldiers back to the helicopter, but the pilot was shot dead and the helicopter crashed. Again, Benavides persevered. He evacuated the soldiers from the burning helicopter and for the next six hours took his badassery to a whole new level. Benavides proceeded to call in airstrikes, organize return fire, administer morphine to wounded soldiers, and recover classified documents. During those harrowing hours, he was also shot in the stomach and thigh and hit in the back by grenade fragments. After being bayoneted by an enemy soldier, he simply pulled it out and killed the other guy with a knife. Later, a doctor pronounced him dead, but it takes more than that to stop Roy Benavides. As the doctor was zipping up his body bag, he spit in the doctor's face to let him know he was still alive. It goes without saying, Benavides eventually earned the Medal of Honor for those heroic actions. Not bad for a small-town Texas boy who never even went to high school. For that reason, plus many more, Roy Benavides is our next BAMF of History.